What's going on YouTube? My name is Mimi Fun Boy, and today I will do an update on my phone collection. You can see I have like about um uh, 100 phone or so. So without further ado, let's get started. So I have the most number. So on the first show we have all the Nokia's uh, plus about um six more down here. These are the modern Nokia's and these are the old Nokia's and these are in between Microsoft and mobile and new HMD Nokia and then I have Samsung, LG, Motorola, Sony Ericsson uh, and a master and I was and a master phone um, then come down here we have Blackberries, Siemens, iPhones, HTC a, um, a UT Starcom phone and then some of the Vietnamese brand like Mobistar, Viettel, APT, Mobile, uh, a couple more phones. So without further ado, let's get started. Also I have brought to here a couple of the battery that might work with some of the phone because not all phones came with battery. They work but they don't came with many batteries. So First of all, this is the oldest Nokia phone I have in my collection. I got this one from a flea market for um, fifty thousand down Vietnam down. This is a Nokia sixty two ten, and this one does not work. The battery works, but the phone does not turn on. This is a Nokia thirty three ten. This is unlocked, and. I do not. I do not have a BLB two battery that work with this one, but I can show it turning on. Let's see, do we have a SIM card right here. Yeah, this is a Vina phone SIM card I have laying around. I have like um a, a, some other SIM card around my house. Um, and I think I have. I don't know where most of them are, but I have a bunch of some of these SIM card that work with some of the phone. Now this one, as as far as I know, is only working on charger when with this battery. But sometimes it will turn turn itself on. So yeah, I need a BLB two battery. But I know it does turn on. It does show sign of life. And it's a bit burnt. Is the phone kind of burnt lip? So this is the reason why I got this one from. I don't get that one came from flea market as well. This is a, the Nokia 8250. I have one of these before. Um, it was in worse condition. This is this one in better. It had all the thing and it turns on. It works. And I got this one for really cheap too. Um, only um two dollars in a flea market. You see, it works. Um, but the SIM card reader isn't really cooperate, and when it's when the SIM card is recognized, it will actually sometimes randomly shut down. I just don't know why it, it, this is a common problem on all, some of these models because, yeah, it's really weird. But I kind of like this one. We have a blue backlight, which I believe one of the other more one of the other phone has. Let's see. Um. Yeah. Same card reader, this one's kinda infinity, but it do, at least it does work. So yeah. Um it's not locked to any carrier as far as I know because I put in Viettel SIM card on this one and Vina phone SIM card on this one and it works just fine. I don't have a mobile phone card. I have a Viet Vietnam mobile card, I don't have the one in the right side. So I can put it in. This is an old phone. I got this one from the back cover came from flea market, but the phone came from my uncle. It is the um, six six ten. You can see. Uh, this one does not work. Watch. Yeah, this one has some problem with the board itself. Sometimes it will flash to contact service and so. Um, but I don't know why it is not working. Really, it's really weird. But yeah, 
I wanted to get a working one, right? but I saw one of them in the flea market and it had a burnt LCD. Foam does work though, I can't really um, use this LCD anyway because it's already um, not stop showing signs of life. I have one more battery of, for this one which came with this one but it, it does not hold a charge. Now we move on to the phone that use later batteries. This is a... Um, I heard this Nokia phone is kind of one of the worst flip phones they made. But I'm not sure why. Yeah, I have to open the back cover like that. Um, let's see. Um, this is the 2650. And the reason I'm not going to put it... I want to put it in the SIM card because this one is this. Of this. Come on. Yeah, this one had a bad LCD and the LCD like that, it doesn't show anything and the speaker doesn't work either. And when I pull up, pl put a SIM card in, it does not doesn't do anything. So I think the SIM card reader is good. It's bad, but phone itself does turn on and off. So I'm the, at least the logic book is good. And I got this one for, um, let's see, uh, Two dollars and a half in the flea market. It was overpriced, I think. This is also overpriced. I got it in the same sh shop. Um, it is the sixty-one seventy. It's very old Nokia. Unfortunately, this one doesn't work. It doesn't do anything to my knowledge. So I have no idea how I will track it. I might trade it to for something else. Um. Here is another flea market find. This is also two dollars fifty. Was originally five, and the reason is that I will show you later. This is the seventy two sixty. This one is you can actually put any SIM card on this one. It will work. Let's see, um, BL four B battery. This one I only have one working BL four B battery for some reason. Yeah, this one had a bad ass speaker. And you see, these buttons don't respond. At least most of them. The joystick is very stiff on this one, so can't really do much thing with that. Jesus, why? Yeah, hold on, let me um, put a card out. And we'll move on to another phone that uses BL4B battery. No, 5B battery. I mean, sorry. This is a um, 6020. I got this one from Tap Tap King. Um, I traded it with a broken Nokia 2310 that I used to have. Um, um, there we go. It works. It works and all stuff like that. There's not much to say about this one other than I actually kind of want to want this because I think back in the day these one are really carbon so yeah. Um, let's see how do you take a card out. Um, <clears throat> hold on. There we go. Some of the phone has a uh, kind of difficult way to um, take this car out. This is a um, Nokia 6101. And I got this one from my uh, um, grandpa's um, sister's in brother-in-law. Yeah, brother-in-law. This is locked to... I'm not sure if it's locked or not, but I have not... Uh, but one of the Vita phone cards when I plug in, it's like... Uh, Say the phone is disabled for some reason. I don't know why. But this one had a bad backlight. The bad backlight bolt in and out. And I might need to buy a new housing for it and because the board is appearing to have some problem with um, draining the battery life. Yeah, draining the battery life. Phone does work though, so at least, at least that's a thing. Uh, 
now let's go to one of my best flea market finds one of if not best flea market finds this is a nokia i should been looking for a couple of these um uh, um earlier s60 series but they are kind of either overpriced or they don't work it is a prototype and it is the Nokia 6680, 6680, and I got this one from the first flea market find. It was only um for some reason it was only um two dollars and fifty cents. Nokia, it is running on S60. Oh, so yeah, it came. I'm not sure if this is used or not, but this is this was released in. Um, Um, I think this is on this is um this one was uh, released on this one was made in January 20 2005 uh, at least this build but it works it takes sim card fines and now let's come to three of the same phones here these are 63 6030 I got these from different um, this one from my uncle this one from someone my dad worked with and this one came from one of the recent free market and then I want to turn on these two ones. This one had a broken backlight, so this one does have a charge battery, but I need to put a SIM card on it. Let's see. Um let's try Vina phone this time. Yeah, I'm using Vina phone as a main carrier. This one has all the Toho song installed. Why the Nokia one is pretty much arch. No, it had never been. So, yeah. So let's move on to the other 6030 now. Uh, let's see. Um, do I need to spare No, I don't. Now, this Nokia right here is in mint condition. Whoever took on this one took very amazing care of it. I think the only problem with it is the screen is kind of too bright, but it works and it has it had all the stuff. This is the battery that came with this one, by the way. It also, it's had some problem as you can see. There's no line or anything, but yeah, it's in very mint condition. I got this one pretty cheap too, only two dollars, which is surprising for a phone like this. Um, yeah, usually if one phone came in two dollars, they use came, when Vietnamese phones are being sold for two dollars, it's either they are broken or half or really cheap looking. This is not one of them, and I'm really sure about that. There we go. I need the SIM card for other phones. Um, next is two other kinds. As you can see, two other kinds. These are the sixty-two thirty i, and I believe that. Actually, use one of these model. Um, Dad used the 3210, 3310. He had a StarTag, the 3210, that 3310, and then he had the 6230. I don't have that model right now. I couldn't find it in the flea market for some reason. This, these are the ones that came in the flea market. These are 6230i, and I want to turn on one of them. This one doesn't turn on, doesn't do anything. Um, so this one has some problems that I'm not sure if it's fixable or not. Maybe it just need a new LCD. Um, but here goes nothing. Uh, neither of these Nokia came in there. This one came with a bloated battery that I have to took it out. Uh, how do you turn it on? There we go. Uh, and you can see this one had burn polarizer to the point that yeah it doesn't seem to take sim card but it had a burn polarizer that make it impossible to see everything some burn polarizer some of them had burn polarizer um that they can actually show something but this one you have to put it on hold for 10 minutes then will show start showing something this one also have a that polarizer lcd I don't know if it's a common problem of, of these um, old Nokia or not, but whatever. 
this is the I guess I got the, this one I got for 50k at a first flea market finds I got this one for two dollars fifteen this is a um, dollar fifty this is a recent pickup I got from Facebook marketplace uh, this is a Chinese one actually this is a um, 6060 and it is unlocked and I don't know why, but seller is selling. The seller is asking me um three dollars for this one, which is which I believe is a bargain because there were two other phones that I sold for this price. That is a sixty eighty five with a bad polarizer, which I have shown later on, and a Sony Ericsson, which I believe it's locked to a Chinese carriers. Oh yeah, I need a B or four B battery for this one. Five B A. I mean, sorry. And it is fully functional. Yeah. Now the only problem, as far as I know, that that this one have is there is no Vietnamese option, but that is expectable because this is a um, mm, let's see um, Chinese phone. It is it has some all the Chinese text on the back and stuff. So yeah, it works just fine. I'm really happy to have this one. I might have this one's a very basic phone actually. It doesn't even have a um, doesn't even have the option to you, you, doesn't that even have a infrared sensor so I can put song or to do anything with it here's a free market find 60 61 61 11 I mean this one does not work um, I'm not sure if the board is good but the flexible is broken and the problem is on this side so it definitely will not turn on this is the Nokia 3360 I got from Free Market for, let's see, um, I'm not sure how much I paid for this one. Oh, this, I remember, $2.50. And this one, it had a white screen, and that's about it. And and the large board, as far as I know, it is good. So, let's turn it on. I'll see it's completely white. Yeah, I don't have no idea how to fix that LCD, but there you go. It works at least. Um, let's see how do you take the back cover out? How do you take the SIM card out? There you go. Some of these Nokia phones, you can't really take the SIM card out without using two hands. And now come to probably one of the best, one of all the best uh, free market find. This is a. Nokia seventy three seventy I got also for five two dollars fifty and it's a bargain because unlike most of the Nokia from this air most of the Nokia in that shop which consider a broken phone this one actually fully functional I actually have to um, put a camera around here Let's see this one. You see it works totally fine with no phone problem as far as I'm concerned. Um, it's not the right time that's all. And you see it works fine. There's some dead pixel on the screen but it doesn't matter because it is working. The only problem so far is they had a bad speaker and um and the SIM card reader is dead so yeah, not much to say about this one, but I really like this one because it's one of the only swift phone I'm having my crash in. It was, was a bargain, bargain too. This one I got in a trade with Tap Tap King as well as the um, 60 20. This is the 60 70. Let's see which card, which card work with this one. Um, let's try being that one. And yeah, it's a very really cool phone because I actually um, I do have one of the model is the 6080 what that thing has a passcode and at the time I don't have um, a way to bypass that so I smashed that this is actually the main device I use to um, transfer songs to all the Nokia's um, yeah it works just fine there's not much problem is using a, a CSC ND display I believe Back camera doesn't work. That's a big problem. That's not a huge big deal. Let's see, uh, 
can I do? Sing call out? Yes, I can. So I have to use the right hand to do that. Um, let's see. Um, this is a flea market fund as well. I got this for two dollars fifty. It was the only working one. The other three does not work. Either does not work or they are uh, the show contact service. It's eleven hundred I. I got this and it works just fine. I'll put a SIM card in. Um, let's see. Um, it doesn't have a battery, but it doesn't matter. I believe this is an early model because the later model has something else. Let's see. Wait, wait. Let's see. Um, 2008. So. Yeah, there's that. Hmm, 21 minutes. Uh, I might do this all day. This is also a recent Facebook marketplace find. I got this one for three dollars. This is a uh, 6085, and you don't need a SIM card to turn this one on. On. Which is really cool. This one it had a burn polarizer, but at least you can see any something on the screen. See, um, yeah, you can see something on the screen. Yeah, it's only on the front LCD, but really on the inner LCD, the auto LCD is fully fine, it's completely fine. And from what I know, this one, yeah, do you see that? When you put the LCD on that angle, it will show the original color. But yeah, got this one for three dollars, and I took this one inside of the Sony Ericsson because that Sony Ericsson apparently it has broken. It apparently it had a passcode and it's locked to a Chinese carrier that I'm not familiar with. He also sent me the the seller also sent me um sell me this Nokia for. I don't know. This is the Nokia. The flex cable is kind of bad. The 5300 Express Music. This one. I will. I don't think this will work, but let's see. Yeah, it works. The LCD is. The LCD is kind of line up. It's feels kind of quiet, but I'm actually surprised that this will work. Looks like this belongs to that person. So I'm, I will not censor that, but yeah, it worked just fine. Surprisingly, I will say, and I got this one for dollar fifty only. So yeah, I'm really happy to have this one working. Um, I'm really need to get a new house to get this one, but the main itself is logically good. Now the twenty six hundred actually these these won't work. I will turn on one of them. Them. 26, 26. I got um, this. These two came from different, different uh, family members. Mm. I, would, I would turn on this one. This one is, is the same. So, um, Tata King also um, gave me this um, face plate to replace the old one, which is a, I believe, a all branded. But they both work. They both text him got fine and yeah. Might end up selling one of these. I don't know. No, we'll we'll take that. And here is the Nokia 63 Hungry Safari, which I believe is a more luxury model than the original. I'm actually looking for the original model because this is not a original firmware. There we go. And I actually love one 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 of these for quite a while now. It came with um, like three different housing, and it works just fine. So next is a flea market find. It's only um, one dollars. I don't know why, but it's a bargain. It's a twelve hundred. The only reason the only, the only reason why the seller is selling this for only two dollars, they say only the problem is there is no. Back cover, no battery whatsoever, but in the end, it is a working phone. 
This is uh, locked to Vietnam Mobile, I believe, because when I put a Viettel SIM card, it says the phone is rejected. The SIM card is rejected, so yeah. I've been looking at one of these. I saw one of these before in the flea market, and it does not work. It had a it, the display doesn't display anything. Here is the one phone that I kind of want to get this working. It is a Nokia 3500C. And this, it does turn on, but the LCD is cracked. You see? Yeah, not much to say about this one. But I got this one for a dollar fifty from the same seller. So from the same seller that sell me the sixty eighty five. This one is on the free, from the free market. This is a um, the EPD one. It came with one of the smaller SIM card, but I don't have it, so I actually to turn this on using this way. I have to hold the battery against contact. Um, but well, you can see it just turn on. It works. Everything works. Just I don't have the the battery for that model. Look here. It is fully functional. I just need a new battery for it. So, yeah. Now the menu bike too. Let's see what other phone I have. I have a couple more Nokia's, and I'm already in 27 minutes. Nokia 2600 Classic. I don't have the battery for it, so I cannot test it. I got this from the same person that sell me um, this one, this, and that one. And that's the last Nokia I got from him. This is the Nokia, another Express Music one, 5320D. I've actually been looking for Express Music model for quite a while now. I couldn't find any good one so far. And this is the one I got from someone my dad worked with. And I don't have a BL. I don't have a BL4B or BL5C by BTV, I believe, battery that works with this one, so I can't test it. Meanwhile, that one's starting, and it start with the E51 I got from Flea Market for, let's see, um, $2.50. Yeah, $2.50. Yeah, there's this one. It's working. Am I afraid that my phone will run or spin after I've done this video? There is a e, Nokia E N seventy nine. It has some weird problem, which I will show right now. And the E seventy one is fully functional. See that? That's a problem with the N seventy nine. It's not a weird problem, but when you plug it in the charger, it will work just fine. This is only fifty k, and I will need a battery because uh. Let's see two other phones who need that battery. We need that battery. It's actually raining right now. Uh. So yeah, I might have to put, put this in on chargers to try to turn on that way. And I will be right back. Alright, so meanwhile that's charging. This is now so this one this is uh from a DC member of my family. Um it is the Nokia Two. And this one, I'm not bothered to take this card out. It's the same as all the phone, except this one doesn't have a doesn't have a working backlight. Yeah, it doesn't have a working backlight, but it doesn't matter anyway. And this one I got from another family member. This one used to be locked, but it turned out the passcode is just one two three four five six. So I was able to reset it, and it works just fine. The Nokia 
yeah, nothing much to say about this one other than it's a basic Nokia phone. There we go. The battery came when it was also bloated, so I gotta get rid of that. And let's see, where is that? Uh, there we go. This here's an E63 I got on free market, also for two dollars fifty. And while that turn on, I would show you the 2730C. Uh, that battery works. I haven't charged that, so it has a Vodafone card inside it. And I just put it before some reason I don't know why but yeah, yeah. this one on desk speaker so it isn't that worth fixing that it is on no it's not on any carrier it's just a basic Nokia yeah, E series phone I yeah but at least it does turn on and show on but I had a bad speaker this one came brand new, it had only one minute of use. So, I actually been experimenting on that Vodafone card for quite a while now. And this one was actually only used on, uh, let's see, um, for on one K, only use for one minute which is which is interesting and typical Nokia 1280 this was the one that I would pay for it it is for it is five dollars I honestly don't know why they're selling that because it was came in the same store that I got that that phone from I look on some other phone and that seeming doesn't work and yeah this is my brother's first phone yeah, my brother's very really first phone. Also one of my first cell phones in my collection too. Let's see, do you have yeah, okay. There's no battery with this one either, it was bloated as well. Let's see the N9 N79 turn on. There we go. So you have to plug it in in order for it to make it to turn on. And yeah, it works, but it has some weird problem with regarding the power button or stuff like that. But hey, you can complain. I only need the battery for all the phones. Where's the back cover? Here it is. Um, let's see. Um, I already have one of these models. This is a 1800, but um, it doesn't work. So I got this one. I'm actually surprised that this battery doesn't hold a charge. It came brand new. Do I need a SIM card? Yeah, I need a SIM card. Yeah, for some of the some of the Nokia, the S phone card will work, but not all of them. Come on. Yeah, we go. I'm not done with the Nokia yet. I have a bunch more to work on, but it works just. Just fine. Come on, how do you? There we go. It should work. Come on. Yeah. There we go. So let's see. Uh, I have many more phones, but I only have like thirty-three minutes to do so. So here are the only two C series that I have in my collection. They um, they are very cool phone. I got this one from a family member. This one is on from free market. Um. It was dollar. It was. Let's see how much I pay for it. Two dollars seventy-five. I haven't charged this battery. That, but I know this battery just work. Hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah. It was used after two earlier this year. So. And it came with a one gigabyte micro SD card, so I can I was able to do main thing with that. So not pretty much it. I want to stay with this one. I'm going to turn this one on for a second. 
This is a model Nokia phone. Um, C201 I got from family members. Yeah. Oh. I should show those later on. Yeah, it works just fine. And do we have a battery? Yeah, this battery does hold the charge as well, but I haven't I have not charged that that battery. Man, it's only 35 minutes and I haven't done the Nokia phones. I have so many phones I can't really keep track of which one I am done yet. Um here's the new two X series, the X201 and X101. This is my dad's old phone. It had a bad LCD, uh, but I think I think I should show you that this had bad LCD. And once again, I think there's a power cut. Yeah, the power cut. There's a power cut. Yeah, there's a power cut in my area for some reason. And then, then. This is a uh, X101. Let's see what battery does this one take? Um, let's see. Um, um, yeah, you get the idea. It's an S30 phone. One weird thing about the S this S30 phone is that it actually uses. Uh, the old um the um like what what do we call it um the old um it used the old um stuff the old um it used this um battery which i believe is originally a thing it was supposed to be used on the s40 or s60 or so but i was wrong we have six more nokia to go well which are on this side Huh. This is the Nokia 206. This one is from the flea market. Uh, that Nokia X1 is also from flea market as well. It's I. It doesn't have a battery. There we go. Just a battery for some reason. Yeah, this one is free. Um, this is one of the later S40 phone because because later on Nokia dish out the S40 in favor of S30 plus. This is a Nokia 105, and this is uh, I got from flea market. I don't know how much I pay for it, uh, but it works. Totally fine. I'm not sure how much I pay for it. Probably less than two dollars or so. Yeah, not much to say about this one. Uh. There we go. Um, let's see. Um, this is my first cell phone, the Nokia 106. Hmm, this one. Let's see what battery does this one. Oh yeah, this one take a BL. 5C battery. This is my first cell phone. I, yeah, I have some memory with it. It still work. I still have everything work. Um, but you get the idea. It's the same as the 105. For the most part, it's having it had a bigger screen. So, yeah, not much to say about this one. Uh, yeah, we'll figure it out later on. This Nokia Lumia 3530 for my brother. This one. Spool loops. This is a uh, Lumia 950, I think. It is on AT&T and it works just fine. This is a Nokia One. It is. I'm not sure what's one as this one's on. Um, probably orange, but 
Uh, let me pause the video for a bit to see uh, to um, check the power situation and I will be right back. Looks like the power cut is quite severe, so you can see it works. The Lumia works. Let me uh, turn this off. There we go. Let's move on to Samsung. Finally, this Samsung Chinese phone, whatever, it does not work anymore. Samsung D410, I don't have a um, charger for it. I wish I had one. These are the same Samsung phones. Um, this is the um, X160. And this one is a CDMA version. It is the C, um, uh, S169. I will turn both of them on. Yeah, we just receive a power cut for some reason. Oh, let's see. Um, this one has a SIM card, so I will turn this one on. I used to have one of these, but it does not work anymore. My mom may have to use this one, or the X210 or X200. So. And I will grab a uh, S phone card for this one. Uh, and despite being a Chinese, um, yes, it is Chinese, um, Chinese or Taiwanese um, CDMA phone, it actually run on. Actually, um, we'll recognize the S phone card and we'll put on that. You see, it's CDMA. See, S phone. And we also have this. I got this one. This one from Free Market. This one also from Free Market. I paid, I believe, a um, dollar and a half for each. This one is for three, two dollars and a half. This one is a dollar fifty, and I got this one from the one that is from on Facebook Marketplace. You see, this is a Chinese phone. I would use this battery uh, three for all the phones. This Samsung C260, it does not do anything. I'm not sure what's wrong with this one. I got this one for dollar fifty at the at the for this, from the same person that gave me that I bought. Um, Samsung Star, I don't have the battery for it, but it does work. Samsung, I got this. This is my grandpa's old phone. This is a um, Samsung. Uh, I should say on the startup. Some of this one should say something on startup. GTS thirty one hundred. I got this one for free market. It's only um, two dollars fifty. Why that turn on? This Samsung GT E ten eighty T um traspec. It does not work. Yeah, some for some reason it's kind of starting to do some boost cycle. I don't know why, but it just acts up like that. And. Oh yeah, that's not on cellular one, just someone put it in for some reason. There we go. Yeah. Um, I'm actually looking for the SVS Samsung phones. Here is the... Um, yeah, I just broke the battery with this one. GT C3212 Um, while on it, this is the um, Genoa, Samsung Genoa No, zero service is they left, whoa Is this a phone or something? Because there's Vietnamese on this one uh, Yeah, pretty weird Um, let's see, um Samsung Genoa, how the touching doesn't work with this one. We can't turn on because I or may not. Yeah, this battery doesn't fit, so I have to put it in like that. Uh, actually, you know what? Yeah. Sometimes nothing on the screen for some reason. Uh, 
I may have to do it again because it happens sometimes. There we go, we finally display something. I'm not sure what's wrong with that. Uh, let's see, do we have any other Samsung? I have not reset this one because how the touching doesn't work. This work, but this doesn't work. So, can't do much thing with that. I may have run a space for the rest of this. Um, let's see. Um, Samsung GT1050. Uh, it's basic phone, free market. Um, it works just fine. Two dollars fifty. This one from family members. This one's also from free market. Samsung Galaxy, um, it's not on AT&T actually, uh, Samsung Galaxy um, Trend Plus, it is unlocked, I got from family member, it works just fine, just in poor shape, and Note 3 now, um, Galaxy Note 3 now, it's water damage and LC doesn't display anything. Uh, yeah, I don't have any other Samsung phone that use that battery anymore. Auto phone that use that battery anymore. Um, let's see. Does this this thing build all the way up? It's kind of laggy when it's start on startup. The time it is right though. And uh, move on to LG. We have an LG. HD 156 is on HD Mobile. Yeah, this is the only CMA Sam LG phone that I have. It's on HD Mobile and I got from family member. I finally got the battery to charge. I don't have to charge it for it, but yeah. Here is an LG KP um, 100. It is um, unlock. Let's see. Um, how do rust this? Um, I want a battery for this one. Let's see, um, yeah, yeah. I have to. Yeah, the clip just shut up for some reason. And I, I, I think there is a trick to um, manage to do the main screen without using this card. Yeah, that's it. No service, so yeah. More than the LG phone. I got this from Free Market, $2.50. This one is from my family member LG C100. It works, it turn on, but don't the keys respond. Here's the LG Neon from the flea market. I got this one for two dollars, I think. KS360, very cool slider phone. While I'm at it, I will show you another flea market find. This is a um, LG Optimus Me. Battery is dead, but the uh, LCD polarizer is also broken, also dead, and this is, I believe this is on track from, but I'm not entirely sure. Sorry about that, someone call, someone shipping call, um, but you see it works just fine. There's nothing wrong with this one. All that missing key, that's about it. Oh, now let's come to more rollers. This is the uh, StarTag. I'm not sure what type of StarTag it is, but I could not test it. I don't have battery or charger. I don't have charge charger for this one. This is a Motorola W200 on S phone. Let's see. It. Um, I only have one S phone card, so I have to daily days change these phone. 
this is basically the C139 except in CDMA. Yeah, that synthesizer is pretty crappy. <laughs> yeah, nothing special about this one. Mm. I don't have to charge it for any of these motors, so I have to use a universal charger to charge this one up. Uh, this motor on HD1, I don't have HD1 with SIM card, so when I put in the S1 card, it will say the phone is disabled, so. Yeah, I'm, I I don't have that, but I can't show that it works or not. Hmm. I tested on the other motor and it works, so I don't know why it's not turning on right now. Well, you can be rest for sure that I got this one to work to turn on on all the stuff. I just don't have the HD mobile car, which is really rare. Uh, but as far as I know, this one does turn on. So I'll, I'm going to see it, this one. This is an S phone um, Motorola W220, W210. I mean. I don't have a razor, I need to get one really soon. Um, I might get returned to that uh, W2, W1870 later on. Oh, maybe the battery just died. Yeah, this battery just may have been died. Yeah, that battery just maybe have been died. Um, but. Here's a Moro W200, this one does not turn on, so not sure what's up with that. Moro backflip, this one does not turn on either, it had a bad ribbon cable. So you can be rest for sure that this do Moro does turn on and you know, do all stuff like that. Yeah, that battery's dead. I might have to charge this battery later on. See where it's at. Okay, we go. And uh, I don't have any auto S phone cards anymore. Um, Sony Ericsson T six ten I. I don't have the battery for it, but I know it works. It is locked to Viettel. Sony Ericsson W eight hundred I. The walk command. I got this one from family member, and it worked just fine. Uh, I just don't have the same card put in right now. I just didn't feel like putting one. Um. But I will on the next one. This is a really cheap flea market find. I got this one for only a dollar and fifty. Um, but I just should explain, explain that flea market two dollars, flea market two dollars fifty, flea market these two are one dollar fifty each. Uh, we got from a um, Facebook marketplace um dollar fifty. This one is two dollar fifty. This one is for dollar fifty. Um, this one from family member, then this one's on the total for one dollar fifty on flea market. And I actually like this one because it's surprisingly still turn on and do old stuff like that. Um, let's see, uh, bit tail card. Uh, I might have to rush through through this this because I just don't want to. It's actually still work. It is a Danish phone from I believe around the Europe because it had all the Europe um European um stuff. Do I have the charge of this one? Yes, I do. Yes, I don't necessarily um charge that. Oh, we'll go. We'll go back to the most master later on. But first, let's show some of this one. BlackBerry seven two ninety um on T-Mobile UK, I think. It ha it is sub brick. Blackberry seventy one hundred on Vodafone sub brick. Seaman um, C forty five does work, but I don't have a battery for this one. A seventy five, I don't have a battery. Untest it. iPhone four S, this one's brick. iPhone five, this one work, but the battery flat is horrendous. 
It's my old phone actually. HTC Hero 100, um, LCD smash, and I the bag just loaded for some reason. It's run Windows Phone, mobile, Windows Mobile. HTC Cha Cha. Um, the battery just die, will die later on. I got from family member of some sort. You know, someone my dad worked with. This is family members. This is my dad. This is family member. These are family members. That one is Traspic. I think. No, that one's from someone my mom worked with. UT stock of some sort. Um, flea market. Um, dollar fifty. Doesn't work. Mobistar. F535, it is on, I'm not sure it's on, it's not, it's not, doesn't seem to be locked to any carrier, but I know it works. It is the only um, media text slider phone that I have in my collection. So, I don't have a battery for it, but it works. Mobistar MB220. It should turn on. Flea market. Um, $2.50. Family member. Family member. Same thing with this one. This also family member. This one we have a dead battery because I'm in charge of one. Yeah. It runs lollipop, so. Viettel V6202, also known as the ZTE R221, I think. It had a white screen. And it is locked to be a tail, so yeah. Yeah, nothing to spam on that one. Viettel V6212, I think this is an X phone. Uh, do you have a battery for this one? This one take for you, but I lost that, so I'm going to use 5J. Yeah, not much to say about that. Uh, we got these three for the same um, flea market. They were 30 k they one dollar fifty each. This is a um, V6217. It, it, I don't have the battery for it, but I know it works. So, just a basic media tech phone. APT phone, APT B500. It is a clone of Nokia 6700. Does this work? Uh, yes, it does work, but, but I'm not sure why, but it will not turn on with this BL5B battery. I'm not, sure what, I'm not entirely sure why. But you, you can be sure that it works. FPTM 99 3G is locked to mobile phone on SIM one only. There's two problems in this one. It's a clone of BlackBerry Curve. The FPT um, B8600, I believe. It is unlocked and it works just fine. Actually, I got this on free market. Um, $2.50. $2.50, this one's from family member. These are media tech phone. I don't know if they made a um, spectrum phone. That's belong here. Two mobile phone, mobile rockstar mini or something like that. Uh, it works, but the battery is horrendous. Life is horrendous. Mobile um, B. Um, oh, I think you just flash the star sound. That's, that's something, but okay. This just blow out. I don't know why. Mobile B um, M two six nine. I think that's the model number. It works. But the speaker's dead, so not much to say. Um, recent flea market find. This is a uh, Avio. Oh yeah, such mention. Flea market. Um, two dollars fifty. Family members. This is also free market. This is fifty two dollars fifty. Avio A one hundred one. No battery. It came brand new. It was never used, which is really interesting because I don't have any V nine. I should sell this one. Uh, I already have like five more phones, six more phones to show. I speak of Mavic Pro. 
I don't have a battery for this one. Uh, Avio phone, they take a really proprietary charger for some reason. Like, why? <laughs> Huawei, um, Huawei Miss Wii um, T210. This one is locked to G phone and it doesn't bother, I don't, so I don't bother turning this one on. A dollar fifty from family from uh, the same famous marketplace. Um, he has a V Smart V Smart B um B three um no V Smart Joy four RAM bus old phone. It works just fine. It's running Android something something. I knew piece of crap um it's brick. This one's also brick as well. It's a Q Smart L A Star. Have not charged this one, but it works just fine. And the Mastel um family twelve. Battery's already. Oh no! I got this one brand new in the box. It was it was free though. You can see it works just fine. So I'm recording on my um Samsung Galaxy um A12, which is my main phone. So that that's pretty much it for my phone collection. I hope you can enjoy it and peace.